Ken here, this is a video to showcase an update on the character quality with the DX11 shader within the DX11 render engine. In addition, this will also be a tutorial on how to set up wrinkle maps with the shader FX 12 spot update, which I built and will release. This is a generic scroll through of the character with a blim material. Notice there are no wrinkle maps. Now, adding the DX11 shader, notice how the wrinkle maps are activated, adding a lot more detail to the character. You can notice how it triggers from the forehead and some of it from the cheeks. It adds a lot more to the character. So to show how the shader works, it is fairly simple. Right here is the DX11 shader, which I have built. It's using the shader file, shader FX 12 spot update. Now there are several maps that are important to be placed inside of this texture. First is the head diffuse, which is self-explanatory. Then there's the normal map, which is placed in here, and the wrinkle map, which is placed underneath it. And the wrinkle map and the normal map are incredibly important since the normal map is going to be the base layer whereas the wrinkle map is going to add the extra detail. Below that are the maps masks for the wrinkle map. These masks are really important because they separate and give control to separate areas of the wrinkle map. So example of this would be James Texture Wrinkle Map Mass 1. This mass shows the location in UV space of where the forehead is and the detail where it per pertains to. Example to show how this works is by going back to the shader since the Wrinkle Mass 1 and the Wrinkle Mass Map are correlated to each other if I break connections on Wrinkle Mass 1 I can manually control how much the actual wrinkle mask will actually protrude. So you notice how the alpha mask for the wrinkle map 1 is influencing the mesh. Now notice there are 12 selections in this area that allows for 12 different selections within the, the actual shader example of how when all of these are activated to one kind of see how the forehead is triggered how the the eye the bottom eyelids triggered the cheeks are triggered and the neck are triggered this adds a lot more detail to your character the next important thing is if you have a TD or a rigger would be simply to actually create connections from the rig to actually activate on certain expressions. So if they have an E or they have a like squint or if they have their a frown, you can trigger all of these masks, these wrinkle maps, onto the actual character while calculating in animation. So that's how I have it set up right here with all of these base connections connected onto expressions. Alright, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream.